Okay, this demonstration has to do with the concept of moment of inertia. Uh, now remember, the whole idea of the word inertia is the tendency of an object to remain in state of rest or motion, or sometimes the resistance to any change in rest or motion. Um, in this case, though, moment of inertia has to do with more with something that is turning or rolling. And the way we often describe moment of inertia is an object's resistance to rotation. Now, one of the things that we saw um, or we've talked about is that the shape of the object has a lot to do with its resistance to rotation. So in this case, we've got two objects. A ring and a solid disk. Now both of them have the same mass and the same radius. Okay? And moment of inertia often is a mass times radius squared relationship. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to start them together and watch them roll. And now watch which one rolls the sl slowest, rolls the least. In other words, has the greatest resistance to rotation. So as you can clearly see there, uh, the disc rolled much better than the ring, even though they have the same mass and radius. Now you might would think it was the opposite. The moment of inertia of a hoop or ring is mass times radius squared. The moment of inertia of a solid disk is one half mass times radius squared. So the solid disk has one half the resistance of rotation, way of looking at it, than the ring. So that's what moment of inertia has to do with, an object's resistance to its rotation.